Welcome back to another yard sailing video. So I don't usually hop on the front of my videos. I usually just go for it and you can just watch me shop and see exactly what I pick up. But I kind of had to on this one. I have to let you know, this is one of the best yard sales I think I have ever been to in terms of the variety of things and almost everything when I got home and looked it up, I could put rare in front of on my listing and I barely ever get to do that. Like, I don't really like to do that, honestly, because most things aren't rare. But honestly, there was so much there that I've never seen before and I expect I may never see again. And it just made for the most fun shopping experience. So that being said, come along with me to the yard sale. I will show you exactly what I picked up at the end of this video as well in the haul. And stay tuned because I've already sold loads of it. So without further ado, let's go shopping. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> Doing wonderful, thank you. All right, I'm gonna grab that if that's okay. okay I've that's got my. Uh, here, you want me to set it? That right would here? be perfect. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just set it right over My here. kid is in the car squawking at me when we pulled up. <laughs> so. I'll just set it right here. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'll just... Okay. <laughs> so these were four for a dollar. Yeah. That's a dollar. That's never been used. Yeah. Oh. Yes. collaboration is. I'm gonna add some shoes to my pile if that's okay. okay. <laughs> there, that'll be fine. Thank you very much. You're <laughs> well, it's the perfect time with Christmas and stuff. Yes. The uh, stocking stuffers is what, what a... <laughs> yes, no kidding. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's cool. Know what that's from. I know you can't go wrong if it <laughs> makes daughter, noise. And <laughs> my daughter's almost 30 and she collects every if she gets on something, she collects everything there is for it. Oh, yes, so. <laughs> that's cool. She does cosplay, and somebody came about the whole oh. box of like her cosplay costume. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Love it. 
What does she cosplay as? Anything specific? Anything. She does. She, I mean, she'll like, she'll get stuck on movies. Like for a while she was on The Hateful Eight. And so she did the, yeah. the costume with the girl that's got the bloody nose. Oh, wow. She did it. And then she'll do, a, now some video games she just did. Um, I want to say it's Assassin's Creed. She does the. Uh -huh. She was Mary. Pa I mean, she was Mary Poppins the other day oh, for yeah. Halloween. Oh my God! Does she, she make them herself? Or? Basically, she'll buy just little things and then she'll make it kind hers, of piece it together. Know? Yeah, that is so cool. Yeah, she was. Uh, I said she was. I know I've got a picture of her. Yeah, she was Mary Poppins. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. <laughs> she does. You would think that's a Disney World. I know. That is so cool. Yeah, she does Mary Poppins. She does, I mean, that was what the last one was, that and that Assassin's Creed. Yes. And, but she does all kinds of That is neat. Hey, how are you? My phone over there. Oh yeah, she does. She's great at it. I mean, she really does a good job. Yeah. How she fun. She had like Comic-Con and stuff like that. She uh, would do, go to them, but now, you know, with COVID. Well, yeah. She's not been able to do that. Uh huh. How fun though. Oh yes. trying to do it for two weeks and I just <laughs> Me and my mom's been trying to do it for two months. <laughs> I mean it's it really it's it's a lot to get uh, you know I spent two weeks going through my attic. I mean my attic was full from one end of the house to the other. I mean it about killed me. And I threw away I'm talking. Oh my gosh. I didn't know we had that much <laughs> junk. I know what you're talking about. I should about. I've got a bunch of lawnmowers in the basement. I should have brought them out and let people buy them for parts, but I, I, I know. I don't like them. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't either. It just won't go. Oh, well, oh. I have to call my Dusty to get him down here. Yeah. And him go. Yeah, I have to call somebody to blow. Yeah, oh, yeah that's really. Funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I thought, I don't know if they had moved. Is that a different people? Yes. Oh, I know it. I don't. But I yeah, they divorced. And um, then they moved in. They have a year, I think, in August. They're so sweet. Aww. Super nice family. Yeah. They really are. They're good people. Yeah. Good people. You ain't worried. <laughs> you know? But they, yeah. they really are good people. Oh, that's awesome. Then they're all decorated for Christmas. Oh. They the Christmas lights out. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good. Oh, good work. Sam. Oh, I I I I I I I I I I I I Uh, the whole bag is five dollars, I believe. Whatever's on the outside of it, I think it's five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck. Go back to school for well, he was of no help whatsoever. So I mean, I it was a week long, and I mean, I was it was terrible. Good for you. Had you know, because I can't really stand up. I mean, you kind of yeah. do like this. I was on my knees the whole time, and uh. Oh my God. Terrible. Wow. Are you still working at the hospital? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Oh, good. I'm glad. I do. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 
see you later. See ya. It's good talking to you. Yes, you too. I thought I'm going to use this as an excuse to get down here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a bunch of bags, baby. She gets on a tear of certain movies and she gets everything from it. Oh, please, you can do that. Yeah. <laughs> I wish she'd get out of it. She still ought to be doing that. Yeah. Well, see, it's hard to find. I tried to find nightmares for Christmas for my older, my younger daughter. Are these for sale? They are. Is that so we just haven't gotten them out. Look? Open them up and look. Yeah, well, we well, just haven't gotten you. them out. There's a Herman and Grandpa in there somewhere. Oh, my God, if I can find them all. <laughs> I'll try to help you find them. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's like. Wait, what are you looking for? Uh, the, the monsters that go with him. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a Herman and a Grandpa. I'm pretty. I know there's a Herman. Maybe there's a Lily. Oh. Think it is my favorite part. I'm not sure what that is. I don't want to dump them. Oh, that's fine. Oh, really? No, it'll be all over your ground. I don't think they're in that one. Let me look. I'll need to stick him up here. How much are the plush? The bigger ones mm -hmm. are three dollars. Okay. The great big ones, and then the other ones, like the middle size ones, are like a dollar. And then so you could get two of the two of the little ones, the little like beanie baby. Yeah. Ones. 
Two for a dollar. Oh Black my trash. gosh. Mom, look. What? Okay. <gasps> oh, I know. Do you <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is, I don't know why this is doing in there. That's a Dorothy Cosby. You keep looking in that one and I'll see. Oh, no, I haven't looked there yet. I know I've seen them. In the shower. Oh. <laughs> I know I've seen them. I just don't know where I've seen they them. They could be in here. Who knows? I haven't made it to the bottom yet. Here's that. Oh, oh, oh. Nightmare. I believe. Do you have him, Kizzy? I'm not sure. Well, go ahead. Oh, he's, I thought, what is going on here? Here's this. this don't we have that one? We have that one. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> We well, got I'm a sorry. Team I know they were in here somewhere, and I don't know no one's bought it. Oh, Mickey's! Wow. How much are these? A dollar. If the ones that are hanging are a dollar a piece, except for the coats. The coats are three. Can I take him? Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm gonna be well, cool. Hey, That's I okay. I don't know where that other. That's just crazy. Your daddy can be Woody, and I can be Jesse next year. I had him growing up. That's a oh yeah, hit me like a train. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen I it in years. Some she wouldn't get. I, I bet that's. I bet some of them oh, are right. upstairs. Yeah, the she wouldn't part with. Yes. I bet. Oh. See, she's a child at heart. Oh gosh, I love <laughs> it. Part, yes, my daughter. Yeah, well, they've grown out of it. Well, I had, well, I take that back. One hasn't. I had to keep all of the animals, you know, mm -hmm. you know, different animals like cats and dogs that were his favorite, and he's ten. So. <laughs> On, um, I think it's on that breaking, breaking weenie. I think. Okay. Uh, I think that's. Let's the tails on. Well, we had some. Some anime, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, there's an it. Oh. <laughs> that used to be her favorite. Oh. Or a dollar a piece. Okay. Except for the coats, all the coats are three dollars. Okay. So yeah. and the costumes like is that a dollar? Pardon? Would that be a dollar? The dress? Yes. Okay. I'll take that. Okay, you're all okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Save you, Joe. Take it from you, but can I please see those shoes? Probably she would have gotten those from Hot Topic. Okay. I would think. The side? When oh, they yeah, had all their, they would have fit just. Nightmare on Elm Street or Nightmare on Christmas. Yes. Those are so cute. Okay. You guys see how much damage. Do, do I need to add it on my calculator because I cannot add to myself? Okay, let's <laughs> I'm horrible. Okay, so this is a dollar. Uh huh. This is a dollar. That's falling to every. Two. Okay, how much? Two. Here, that goes with that. Yeah, it goes all, all that. All that goes with that. Okay, so we got two. Two, and then. That's three. Three. Three, five, three, five. They're 350. 350. I don't know how much these are. Okay. These 350, 450, 550 because they're two for a dollar. 650. That one will do two on him. 650, seven, eight. I hate I couldn't find that. Come on, I'll set these over here. Sure. 
they might turn up somewhere. I'll have a look over there as well, just in case. Maybe she kept that one. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. Maybe you never know, they might turn up. Thank you for your help looking. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, well done you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, Lily, huh? thank you. I don't think so. I think I had, oh, the boy's name. I can't oh, even remember. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Do you want Herman? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. How much did you say the jackets were? They're three. Three. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have to tell her how much everyone loved her taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, she would appreciate that. Would she? Yes, okay. little mini ones. <laughs> so cute. Oh, that is oh a lovely. Now, everything in that, I'm doing four bags for a dog. Oh, okay. That. Awesome. Thank she you. She has all kinds of bags in there. Yes. She collects everything. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> That's cool. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> it was not fun. <laughs> no. oh. Look on the ground. Oh, the fall? They did. I think this fell too. Oh, did it? it will I'll try. She gets a lot of this stuff and she won't even wear it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it will. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> Of course. I told you I'd be back. I had to go to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I had an appointment at the bank. <laughs> yeah, you have to have an appointment. Here, into the bag. <laughs> and the, the clothes on the that are hanging yeah. are a dollar a piece and a jacket is three. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting there. Oh, no, no, no. You're fine. You're yeah, fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> you can see the bag.
Yeah, I thought it was too. Yeah, I thought it'd let you know it's well, good. good and I've been up there. Well, good. Thank you. Thank you. That's where I go to church at. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like to know. Yeah, of course. Uh, you know I like those cells. Oh, yeah. Lisa <laughs> Chief cried. Oh, like yeah. Yeah. He is nuts. <laughs> He'd drive you crazy if he came out, though. Oh, he's crazy. He does. He'll sit there and cry. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I am. <laughs> Let me see if I can find you a bag. Oh, you thank you. Garbage bag sitting out. What is oh, you thank you. These are things from the table. From so, the table? Yeah, so if you want to, however many bags you decide that is. Let's so, see if this all fits. I don't know that it will. It's okay. Bill, it's fit. I tell you what, that's pro. All this. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. It's two bags. That'll Is that work okay? for me, absolutely. You just throw it on it. No, no, give me a garbage bag. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I've been here. Okay, so that's ten. Thank you so much. All right. Let me get my calculator. Sure. Yeah. It's gonna be some teamwork here. <laughs> You found Herman. Yep, I there's a few kind of floating in there. Oh, thank you very much. Those. Well, this is when I come back to him. All right. Three from him. I need to get another bag ready. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> right. Let's see. So what do you do, buy all this stuff and resell it? I do some reselling and I do honestly most like Christmases and birthdays for my kids with this kind of stuff. Oh really? Yeah, really do. Oh, you Australian? Or England. England, England or yeah. Where about? Uh, Yorkshire. So like up top. Yeah. I've been over to Manchester before. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, that's not too far from where I grew up. A couple of hours. Where are you from? But England originally. Oh, wow. Like North Yorkshire, yeah. Wow. It's funny, the more I hear you talk, the more I hear the English yeah. versus uh, Australian. Still holding on to the accent. <laughs> no, I, I like it. Yeah, thank you. I see that we like the same thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> I think this might be my favourite yard sale I've been to this year. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love this stuff. All the Beetlejuice and stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you all so much. Yeah. You're welcome. How long have you been in the state? Almost 10 years. Yeah. So. You like it? I do. I love it. We're used to having people coming over and visit, but obviously not right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it's nice weather for you guys. I was worried it was going to be cold, but it's kind of perfect. No, yeah, it's not. Nice yeah. For a particularly a November day. Yes, exactly. At least I don't know if anything else. No, we just have to get another bag. Oh, There's number two. Oh, thank you ever so much. Do you have him? Um, I don't think so. Sure. <laughs> Thank you're good. you. You're good. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, you ready for your grand title? Oh, barely. Did you get the basketball goal as I well? Did. Okay. I did. We'll get another bag. <laughs> one thirty, one fifty. All righty. That's a bargain. Thank you. <laughs> There is 31, and let me see if I got the 50. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for your work. <laughs> and 50. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you're next. All right, I'll do a couple of tricks. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm going to try and sneak around the other side of the car, I guess. All right, you guys. I bought a lot of stuff. I bought a lot of stuff at this yard sale. Get comfy, because I'm going to have to take you through it and i'll try and do it quickly and just like touch on a few things um but yeah there was a lot of cool stuff here definitely a little bit different and there are plenty of things in here that are going to make my money back and then everything else will be profit so i, I spent a total of 131 dollars and 50 cents is what it came to at the yard sale um and there's quite a few like 50 dollar items in here so 
I should be able to make that back fairly quick. Uh, let me take you through and show you. This was one of the most interesting yard sales I think I've ever been to. Um, the woman was selling on behalf of her daughter. Uh, her daughter was like, a, I think like semi-professional cosplayer. Like she showed me some photos of her and it was amazing. Um, and so she's just into like, diff you know, cool stuff, whatever, quirky stuff. Um, and so that's what I that's what I picked up here. I picked up a bunch of like what I would consider either collectibles or slightly alternative stuff which has a really good market on both Poshmark and eBay in my experience here we go let me show you what I picked up so um I guess I'll start down here with plush the plush were like all I think they were like three for a dollar or two for a dollar unless they were big and then they were three dollars so I was kind of like sparing with it um I have Scrooge McDuck a lot of these as well are like authentic Disney store or Disney parks which is great um I haven't looked him up or anything I just I cannot leave a Scrooge behind what can I say um lots and lots of like anime or manga um I need to go through I'm not familiar with these so I need to go through and figure out who everybody is and stuff but there was one or two there where I looked them up on the spot and they were going for you know sort of like anywhere from 25 to up to 50 um so I decided it was worth grabbing a few because some of these are harder to find and people do sort of turn to the resale market to find them um Toby great mouse detective I'm so excited that I found him anyway side note um little sort of like vintage ones as well a few of these that came in here aren't things I picked out they just kind of threw them in and was like oh you're gonna take them home as well and I was like okay <laughs> um I do have lock shock and barrel unfortunately so if you have the three of them you can get the, around like 40 to 50 for them unfortunately I didn't realize he is a different brand. Uh, so these both Disney Store and this is a slightly different brand. You can kind of tell by his sizing. So I think I'm still going to lock them up together and just disclose that. But I was a little bit disappointed uh, that they weren't sort of like a true set. Uh, oh, well, never mind. Um, Doc Martens, $2. Fantastic. Made in England. They actually look like they have barely been worn on the soles. Size 10 women. So really, really fantastic Um style and size there i got a couple of these little plushies that are the scentsy buddies i don't know how these are doing necessarily right now but i got the goat and i got the little winnie the pooh and um, again we have christmas coming up so people are looking for gifts and things like that but they've done well for me in the past he's adorable and um, i have a little beaker brand new with tags from walt disney world sure love him whatever <laughs> <laughs> um mini mouse brand new with tags from disney star just like an old-fashioned one i think that she'll sell because she's new with tags and she's got that sort of old style look um we have another builder bear still has its tag on which is part of the reason i grabbed it again i've mentioned in other videos some builder bear can do really well when they were limited edition so like i know the paw patrols i've sold one of those for like a hundred bucks and it wasn't even working anymore in terms of it talking um some of them can do really really well when they're like licensed characters i don't know about their own version but this one was interesting to me with it being like a vampire and stuff and it still had the tag so i decided to give this one a try i have a care bear I grabbed there was lots of Care Bears there and I think like 2002 was maybe the earliest um this one I think seems to be a little bit older Carlton Cards mm, I don't know I'm not sure how to date this guy but I liked they had the kind of like Americana style to him so I figured he was a little different and I would grab him I'm gonna have to figure out his actual name in terms of what bear he is um another builder bear this one might be an absolute fail I'm not sure but at least it has its complete outfit does need a little spot clean though just a little Little, a little poodle thing <laughs> i don't know i like its shoes though speaking of shoes like this uh we have a few pairs of shoes here as well um creepers that's the word that i'm is coming to mind for this style of shoe i could be wrong i'm not sure and um, the brand is tuck or t-u-k obviously they need some wiping down um i will try like a wet wipe first of all and then i'll turn to like an alcohol wipe if i need to to see if i can lift lift a little bit of this it depends if they're real leather or not um, and obviously the laces aren't there but overall in decent shape and this kind of like checkerboard print has done well for me in the past as well um i do have a pair of new in the box 
shoes the brand is killstar there's quite a few killstar things in here obviously they're very high like platform sandals with like a seashell style embellishment or like design to them grab them because they were new in the box um i see some sold going around like 40 to 50 or so uh, i have a few like new in the box toys as well that i guess some of them were clearance um a lot of like powerpuff girls buttercup or i should say three items so i've got this one here where it's the plushie that i guess talks um i have this one here yeah, I don't know what she does, but she is new in the box. And there's one over there as well who is like um, a harder plastic version. I did scan the back of a couple of those and there weren't a lot of salt, but there were a, a few decently like priced ones that, you know, uh, are being... Um, sold right now so the asking price was pretty decent so again christmas coming up i figured for like 50 cents and a dollar i might as well just go ahead and grab them and um, i have a little purse here my neighbor Tot uh, totoro totoro i am so sorry it's i'm, I'm just not familiar <laughs> someone is screaming at me over the internet i know and um, a couple of light marks again i'm going to take an alcohol wipe and just see if i can dab a little bit of that color away um, if not it's a dollar and not all is lost but just like a little crossbody purse there we have a hello kitty kind of like weekender travel bag style another kill star piece here it's like a faux fur backpack and um, again some of these bags seem to be doing quite well as well so sort of like 30 to 40 or so on that i have a true vintage clifford the big red dog backpack like figure or backpack um here's his little little tag from years ago i guess unfortunately some of the paw prints as you can see some are still there some have very much faded away um but you know that's life with these older things isn't it and i just thought he was too cute to leave behind um i have another top here i'm thinking it's from hot topic potentially it's cartoon network steven universe i'm not familiar but it's just kind of like a sweatshirt like a hooded sweatshirt um this bag again not familiar kiki's delivery service miss witch i think this is this is anime right uh, i don't know i <laughs> don't yell at me um but it is a backpack and i couldn't see a lot of backpacks listed online i did see a little wallet that sold for 16.99 that was in the same print so hopefully i can get a lot more for this particular piece if there's not a lot out there oh and it's bio world i think was the um was the like branding or what it's from so if that helps anybody i don't, I don't know um vintage coat I have sold this brand before and it did quite well. Again, maybe like 40 to 50. It is Rothschild, women's size eight. Uh, what is it? Made in Moldova. Cool. Um, just really, really pretty, like older style. Um, very, very classic older style jacket there. Okay, I'm not familiar with this brand at all just kind of threw it in there i think this one was like 25 cents perhaps this one was 25 cents wreck it ralph and it's just like a see-through candy style bag with a big pom-pom or whatever it's just like a little mini backpack uh, from the disney store i think um i looked this up while i was there and again seemed to be doing quite well anywhere from 25 up to like 45 handbag of holding um but it does have some cool details like the hardware and things that definitely seem to suggest that it has a decent quality to it and i do believe that this is leather this is another disney store item um judy hops officer judy hops from zootopia it's very cute her bag her head i'm sorry is the actual backpack um and then there's also like a little carrot that is like a little little wallet so very very cute on that and um, again not super familiar with this um but it's like a laptop bag crossbody bag um, does have a little hanging guy there still as well and inside there are two pillowcases of two different characters that are like full body length pillowcases uh so i didn't know they were in there i guess they're kind of like a bonus but again i'll sell them i'm sure that there is a market for them online all right we've got two beetlejuice items here um a handbook for the recently deceased purse this is also by killstar some of these are doing really well now the hot topic ones or the lounge fly ones i think are going for like 75 i don't think i look to see what the actual killstar one is going for um but i think that this will sell purely on the novelty very very easily and then this beetlejuice backpack here seemed to be going for around the 40 to 50 dollar mark as well um and it's in really really good shape i'm sort of really impressed with how 
how well a lot of these have been kept. Have a pair of Nightmare Before Christmas platform sneakers. They're not Converse or Vans or anything like that. They're all embroidered though, which is really kind of cool. Now we do have a little bit of cracking towards the back that I'm gonna have to disclose, unfortunately. But they're a women's size 10 and overall, apart from that on the inside, which doesn't affect the wearability as far as I can tell, they're in really good shape and I love that they're a platform as well. This kind of snuck in there. <laughs> I think it just ended up in my pile and that's fine. It's Vera Bradley, like a navy blue, I believe leather tote. You can see it's quite big um, and I believe it is brand new like without tags because it still has the like crossbody strap all wrapped up inside and um, i haven't sold vera bradley like this version i've only done the pattern stuff so it'll be really interesting for me to see um how that does i don't know had i been aware that i put it in my pile would i have still paid ten dollars <laughs> hopefully it'll have a good return on investment and i'll be glad that i did it all right vintage big bird that's all I have to say about that one. <laughs> we have two um, Rampage toys. Uh, they say Walmart. I don't know if these are older or not, or are they just kind of like throwbacks? Obviously, they make noise. Oh, no, they're 2018. Um, so, they're, you know, they're not vintage. They're just throwback toys or whatever. Um, but they stretch. They make noise. They're obviously still new in the box. And they seem to be going for around $25 a piece on eBay right now. Again, perfect for Christmas time. Here's the other Powerpuff Girl thing that I, um, the deluxe doll that I didn't, that I sort of pointed out to you a while ago, but didn't do a close-up on. Um, I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'll be honest. Again, just like not familiar with this stuff. Um, but it does still have the tags. Originally $15, 2007. Obviously, there's plenty of information on here that I should be able to figure out um, what his keyword should be. I have an ALF puppet from the 80s because, you know. <laughs> uh, same for Pink Panther. He's from the 80s, just a little plush. Okay, I need help with this. I'm a Disney geek. I don't know what this is. Um, it is marked Disney on its tags. Is it a Star Wars thing? I just don't know. So if anyone could tell me what this guy is, I would be super, super grateful. Um, but yeah, I grabbed him because he's in good condition. And quite frankly, I just had no idea and I had to know. <laughs> All right, I have new with tags, Muppets Most Wanted. This is like, I think the, what is this? Like evil Kermit with his cloak and his little mole or whatever. So I just thought that he was really cool. He was brand new with tags, why not? Um, I have three of the Munsters. I wish that I had found Lily as well um, to add to the set, but they do also still have their tags they're not vintage or anything um but the three of them together should probably fetch around 35 to 40 pair of keens they're kid size and i didn't realize looking at them now i should have realized um but anyway so maybe my oldest son will like inherit these i thought that they were kind of cool or i'll just sell them i actually have a couple of other pairs of kids keens like down here i got for my youngest son and his feet are just too darn big and i didn't realize so i'll probably just sell them because kids keens do sell or i could take them to a consignment store if i wanted to um these were brand new in the box uh d I don't know how to pronounce that, but they're like sort of alternative shoes and whatever. I guess kind of like goth vibes and whatnot. I'm sorry if that's insulting to somebody. I don't mean to be. Again, I'm simply naive about like this style of clothing. Um, but they're really cool and they are brand new in the box, like I said. Oh, and those were $5. Um, now, the clothing was like fill a bag for five. I think I ended up with about two bags worth, so I paid $10 for all the clothing pretty much. Again, not familiar with this homestruck. Um, here is like the little symbol or whatever and then it has the cool little character hood uh, there's one this is a hot topic like faux leather jacket with built-in hoodie um, two little uh, boys 40 vineyard vine shirts i'll just lot those up together because they're both plaid and both the same size and sell them um g extra large there's a stain i missed i'll see if i can get it out uh, vintage kid size large and i think it would fit like an adult extra small to small but like a proper vintage 1985 live aid t-shirt it does have condition issues it has a bunch of staining and so i'm going to work on that and see if i can revamp it a bit but i just thought that was way too cool from 1985 to leave that behind for like 20 cents or whatever it ended up being in the bag okay we have a women's doctor who her universe extra large like is this i guess it's like a dalek um sort of shift dress 
vest thing. This is only from Target and there are some buttons missing unfortunately and I see some stains. This may have not been the best pickup truly uh, but it definitely looks like an older piece and obviously it's just like a cherry print um, pleated skirt which I thought was absolutely adorable and cherry print does well for me. Another one of these um, home stuck um, like zip up hoodies with again that little like character hood or whatever so I got to figure out what that is and then I'll know what keywords to use. Um, trip I think that these are like maybe Hot Topic. I'm not too sure. Size five, but they're like a skinny black pant. Again, all of these were filler bag. Hot Topic, again, size small, just a crushed velvet kind of like floaty skirt. And then the last one was this Spell Out. Um, and I think it is vintage. It looks to me to be older, sort of 90s or early 2000s. Polo Ralph Lauren jeans sweatshirt. All right, and the last few things. So um, I got a Dorothy costume and I got a... Frankenweenie Elsa Van Helsing costume. Unfortunately, the tights are not there, just the pinafore dress, but it's still kind of like obscure, so I figured I would pick it up. Um, I got some other costumes. Like I said, she was a cosplayer. They are not licensed, and I don't really know what they are. So they have a lot of bits and bobs with them. If you recognize any of it, please let me know in the comments. Um, and this is kind of like a long green jumpsuit with the gold, and then it has the little gloves. Again, not a clue who this character is. I'm going to have to do some real research on that. And then we have a pink. I think the blue one is like Sailor Moon, right? Like I think that's the intention of the blue top and the skirt and then there's a pink version as well um i could be totally off but that's where i'm going to start at least and then last but not least i got these from these ones are for the disney store we have a pluto and we have a mickey but obviously they're like the vintage style like the very early ones which i love like i said exclusive disney store these are for me to keep. I love them. And then this guy here is a bit of a mystery to me as well. He is not Mark Disney Star. Again, he has that vintage look. Um, he's very, very like stiff, like he could stand up. And his, he's 75 years. And the tag is really interesting because it's like partly... Um, it's like fold out with information and then it's partly fabric and stuff. I just think it's really, really cool. And I, like I said, I love the style of that. I have some actual vintage Mickeys that are, look similar from the time period that I collect, but I like him too much. All of these. So I'm keeping them. That's my treat to myself. Okay, take a breath. <laughs> That was a lot. Like I said, $130 or so, give or take some change. Let me know down in the comments what you think was a good pickup and maybe what you think was not a good pickup. Is there anything here that you would not have bothered with? I'm always interested to know that as well. Let me know as well what your favorite pickup recently has been because I like to hear what everybody else is scoring on. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like thrifty content and yard sale with me videos, then please do think about hitting the subscribe button and the bell notification and coming back and hanging out some more and i'll catch you in the next one bye you guys